Mark, why, why, uh, why did you want to be part of this, uh, this effort to help raise funds for this uh, project that we're taking on? Well, I've got two kids uh, that go to this church and that are coming up through the children's program. and They love uh, Sunday school, they love Wednesday nights, they love children's church. Um, and, and I know that if, if we have an opportunity to update and upgrade some of the facilities, it'll only give more opportunities for those activities in the children's department to go. Uh, and additionally, they also go to the nursery school. And uh, when the, the news broke that we had an opportunity to take in the nursery school for this renovation as well, uh, I, I knew that we need to do everything in our power to, to help that keep going. Yeah, I've heard stories about this nursery school being you know, 50 years old or something like that. And, and the number of people that have come through this nursery school, both in our church and in our community, what do you think it is about this nursery school that makes it so important for our church to take on this added responsibility? Because this is a, it was a part of the original plan for this capital fundraising, but now it's become a, a really important part. Yeah, it, I think because they have done such a great job of preparing the kids one for school. I know a lot of parents have said and looked back and said that this nursery school has been one of the best or one of the, the reasons they point to for why their kid has been so successful going into kindergarten. But I think just the fact that they just love them with Christ's love and they showed them uh, the love of God through teaching. Uh, and because we have that opportunity to bring it in-house and keep it going, um, we can continue uh, to outreach. And it's not just like, you know, people that I know are from Covington, but talking um, with, with people at the nursery school, that they, they reach out to Lauderdale County, kids from Haywood County, um, and not even just Covington, but the rest of Tipton County. This is, this is a huge outreach to a lot of children that aren't just Methodist or Presbyterian as well. And so I think we have an opportunity to really uh, continue uh, the, the First Methodist mindset or outreach-oriented goals uh, just through a new avenue. How can people get involved in what we're getting ready to do? The big thing is, is to remember um, that this is in addition to uh, for the capital campaign. Um, so. The stewardship campaign, anything that has been committed to goes to operation on the budget. And so that is set for making the church go. Uh, and this capital campaign is, is going to be above and beyond that. Uh, and so we hope that, that people will think about what they can give. And uh, it doesn't have to be a one-time thing. They can set to give it over a couple years uh, and commit to sort of giving long-term. Um, but we just hope that that you'll take time and think, and, and maybe if, if it's not uh, a monetary donation, that you'll think to give your time and your efforts to maybe uh, going out and talking to people or uh, spreading the word uh, about the things that we've got going on. You know, there's a lot of different ways that people know. I would say they can come talk to me, they can talk to you or anybody in church council. I would be happy to, to update them on any of the goings on as well. Well, Mark, we miss the kids, but it sure is a great day to be out on the playground. Um, what? Uh, tell me again, what was the way that people, whether parents or church members or community members for that matter, how can, how can they learn more about what's going on here? So the landing site is going to be SaveMPNS.com. So that's Save Methodist Presbyterian Nursery School.com, just shortened down. So SaveMPNS.com. Uh, and it'll take you directly to everything that you'll need. More information uh, can be found if you don't find it there by emailing um, the addresses that you'll see. They'll be provided on the screen uh, and will be circulated around as well. Uh, but it's, it's going to have everything, updates, all that kind of stuff that you'll need to learn about this campaign going forward. We are so excited about the future of MPNS and, and, and about the, the building program at, at, at Covington First Methodist. And uh, it, it's just going to be great to see what God's going to do. Let the little children come. That's our slogan. That's our theme. Let the children come. And uh, we ask for you to pray for us. Pray for your participation in this campaign. 
pray for God's will to be done, for God's spirit to move. Um, pray for how you're going to be able to contribute, whether it be financially or through uh, a gift that you have or, or through your testimony, sharing what the school has done in your life. There's many different ways for you to be involved, but we know that God is doing great things and, and we look forward to seeing where he's going to lead us in, 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 into our future.